Hey guys, sorry to have to make that cut there in the video. Um, during that recording session, my computer got the blue screen of death. Bleh. So, had to work my way back up here manually. That's why I don't have two dudes sitting on the side of my tank. But, we're back and hopefully that doesn't happen again. As soon as I got up to the point where I opened that door, I saved the checkpoint so if it does happen again, it'll be easier to get back to where I was. Anyway, so... I was actually explaining a bit of um, this area when it started working and what I said was you can basically take out most of the enemies just by staying on one side. And in particular I'd recommend that you take out the hunters. Or at least the, um, the enemies that you know you're going to have trouble with if you have to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just got to carefully maneuver ourselves here. I don't like the sound of that glass shattering beneath us, that's a bit scary. You know, like these dudes on the bridge, they'll sort of strafe around and threaten to do something, but they never seem to. They don't, even if they've got their weapons charged, they don't seem to fire them. And look, like that guy's just walking around like nothing's happening. Doesn't he notice the corpses? Uh, who knows? I think we got the hunters. So... That's basically all I wanted to get. Anything else we can just handle when we get over there. Ooh. Oh, what? I thought I shot that guy was on this far left turret. Oh boy. Recharge, man, recharge! This one. I don't think there's really a health anywhere here either. Come on. Why is it so hard to aim with this thing? Much easier if they're like standing next to a pillar or a giant rock. A giant rock. It's much easier to pick them off. And I really need some health. I wonder if there's anything down here. No, of course the health's are back over there. I might just go get the health and then meet you back here. Okay, we're back. I probably should have um, showed a bit of what was over there because there was actually like a few human corpses along with uh, a dead hunter. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that those guys were over there. And they must have fought a pretty epic battle. Just makes you wonder what they actually went through. But yeah. No, I couldn't stand, like, if you actually, if your health gets that low, then you can actually start hearing. Um, the Master Chief's hard to believe. And that is kind of an eerie feeling. Um, heartbeat. If I said bleed, I meant beat. So. Yeah, you can't be too far away with this thing. Because, well, I find it's pretty inaccurate. Might just be my dodgy aiming skills, but... Yeah, because once you get closer, it's more of a sure thing. And we have a Covenant dropship coming in. And as you can see, it's dropping off at least one ghost, but not two. Yep. And that is a fantastic reason why you should definitely still have your tank from that other area. I definitely recommend still having this and not just trying to zoom ahead with uh, a Warthog or something like that. Hello? Anybody home? I had to shoot you before you knew I was here. Yeah, I don't really want to fire uphill. I 
I like how you have the ability to like shoot the rock and then the blast from the um, the tank is just so powerful that it destroys anything on either side of the rock. I think that makes sense. This time around I also swapped my uh, pistol for a rocket launcher and it's full with um, eight spares. So that should come in handy, hopefully. Yep, so there'll be dudes coming out of here. A lot of this, like, is pretty optional. Because if you went the other way, you probably wouldn't even see that. Doing a good job sneaking up on these covenants. keep moving because I don't want to get shot by, um, this, they're called wraiths, that's what they're called. That's what they called them in Halo 2. They may have just called them plasma tanks here, but, um, they probably didn't really need to give them a name because, um, we can't use them. Not until the second game can we actually jump in one. And of course you got a couple more hunters like the theme of this level is every sort of covenant baddie that shows up can. You now you've got raids and banshees and grunts and turrets. Oh, speaking of banshees, there's one. And hunters, elites. Brutes obviously hadn't been created yet, so they're not here. Um, if he just stays around there, we might just keep going, because we don't have to go back. Is he coming over here? No, I guess we can just go. Because he won't come into this area, it's just too confined, close quarters. I could have sworn there were grunts there. There were definitely grunts in this area right here when um, I was playing on the Xbox version. I thought the Covenant had eliminated all the marine forces in this area. That's kind of weird. See what I mean? It's just hard to get it just right. Oh, cool. Still a few humans alive. I wouldn't bother letting them jump in the tank. Anybody else hear that? Oh man, Covenant dropship inbound! Take cover! The Covenant are dropping in behind us! We're trapped! I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna go on ahead. And here's where having the rocket launcher is hopefully gonna bear some serious fruit. And I wouldn't be surprised if I die a lot here. Because that's what happened in practice. Not a very nice area. Not if you want to survive and it have this like few deaths as possible. Up there in those rocks, Chief. We're totally hemmed in. We need to get up this ridge. Marines, hold your positions. We'll handle those guns. Master Chief, we should sail the ridge and get below those stationary guns. Affirmative, okay. holding position. Now you'll have ghosts on your ass. And the thing that kept killing me was they would run into me. That's what kept messing with me. I got a bit lucky there, managed to get it on his foot. And now, of course, you've got a banshee as well. So... My god, it's all happening.
These guys are doing really well to still be alive. Because uh, if we'd have stayed back in that area, um, you know, where they said Covenant dropship coming in, um, you know, there were baddies coming in from behind us, and you can choose to finish them off if you want. But I just choose to ignore them and just keep pressing forward. So that went a lot better. Oop. Don't speak too soon. Behind the shield. Yeah. Such a shame for him because if he'd have gone further in then obviously the door would have closed, but the fact that it didn't close told me that he was right near the end, right near the door. So, yeah. Bit of sneaky strategical thinking there. Still got one shot. I could really use <laughs> some help. Again, we'll pick all these guys off. I think I'll do the same trick. Sometimes I'm, I hope that one of these grenades actually landed on, you know, like an elite. That'd be so epic. Ah, oh, man. Wasted that. Gotta switch my weapon. This should do. Whoever makes all the glass for these facilities would be uh, getting a lot of work from us, eh? Seem to have glass shattering every few seconds. Hells yeah! Oh, he almost blended in. I think it would have been cool if they'd made it so they pretend to be dead. You know, like they sort of lay down. And maybe like they slightly move a bit to give it a, to give it away, and then they just you know if you run away they sort of start shooting you from behind. That would have been a pretty nifty feature, I think. This is pretty cool. Nice elevator design. What do we have here? I really need some health. Oh, good. 